Now that's a drift. Now that's pretty. Let's see how it performs. What is up, guys? It is Roman with UncleRoman.com and Roman and Silas on YouTube. And we are going to do a video for y'all today. So um, the poll came in and y'all um, finished off and y'all voted for the old school Chevy. Not upgraded. Should be right here. Yep. There it is. So let's check it out. Um, we're going to drive it first stock and then we're going to upgrade it with the drift tune. Um, you guys can follow along, but I also have this tune available for download on the Forza Horizon 5 um, my community page. Looks pretty clean, not gonna lie. Looks like something my grandpa would drive. Okay, got some purr to it. Right, let's see how it performs. Get it over onto the road. I'm not gonna show its potential until we get it onto the drag strip. Okay, it's kind of quiet. This sounds a lot better. All right, let's see how it drives. Also, let's see how much horsepower it's cranking. like about 424 horsepower 425 yep 425 horsepower to the wheels dang it's actually pretty quick just for a stock car from this what is it, from the 60s yeah it's quick Oh, definitely can do some burnouts, guys. That's actually kind of cool. So it looks like it can actually drift stock, um, but not very well, obviously, because it turns like a boat, as you can see. So we're going to have to get that suspension fixed and maybe just upgrade the engine. We might just engine swap it with a bigger V8, we'll see. But we might keep it with this V8, just to, for old time's sake. <laughs> we'll see how much more spark cranks out. cool the wheel things uh, stops or kept spinning when I stopped all right we'll actually be able to hear the engine better in this menu too if I go around here so oh yeah we have a bunch of different options so we have the stock it's cranking out 425 so yep that's spot on so actually the 6.2 liter v8 is 10 less horsepower this sounds so much nicer. So, so much even, more even power distribution. The, then we have the diesel, we're not doing that. And then we have the V12 and the, the 1500 horsepower V8. So yeah, I think we're just gonna keep it stock with real world drive um, and we're gonna throw in we're actually gonna throw in a supercharger we aren't doing a turbo in this in this build normally I would actually do a turbo for more yeah I just normally do turbo <laughs> it's just a different way of producing power for the car it's not as linear as a supercharger and it tends to be better for drifting but we'll see how the supercharger does and if it doesn't do well then we'll all switch it back we're keeping these wheels, we're just making them ginormous. That's how we roll in, in Uncle Roman's land. So 
now all we're doing is just getting so we want the just the, the six speed so we'll mix keep that at just regular race and then we want the drift differential and then you just want to max out everything um, you want to put this to drift look at that it's slammed holy crap that's like touching the ground wow look at that that's that was the original height that's race height and then we got drift height. <laughs> that is crazy. Those curb feelers are like almost touching the ground. Wait, this doesn't even have curb feelers. If it had curb feelers, those things would be scraping the ground. It sounds a lot better with that um, supercharger in there. So let's see if we can get some good power out of this thing. But if it's not up, it's if it's not 700 or higher, we can't do it. It's, it's going to be too slow. And we're going to have to upgrade the engine if that's the case. Okay, we're good. 758 horsepower. That's around where we want to be. It's only eight eighty-six thousand dollars. Um, of course, this is only the upgrades part. We still have to do the tuning. So let's do that real quick. Um, so with drifting, you want the rear tires to have more um, pressure. And then, let's see. We want the rear a little stiffer. More stiff, sorry. With the rear a little more stiff. Front a little more soft. Just like that, and we're gonna change this too. Probably just that much. Don't want to tweak that too much. That's good. That's all right, and we're gonna max this to 100. That's pretty much all we need to do for this bad boy. Now all we have to, our last thing is the paint. I'm gonna go with one of the stock colors. Just to go with the times. And we're going to go with that. Alright. Yes, these are already pretty shiny, but we can make them even more shiny. If you go down here. And you select the steel polish. Those are the shiniest wheels you can get. Most shiny wheels, sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to change these brake calipers underneath they make them match the body perfect and that's really all we need to do all right now let's test it out Turn up the volume for y'all. Okay, that should be good. Alright, now let's test it on the drag real quick. Power. Here we go. Oh, it's good to see. It's it's almost wheel spinning in fourth gear. That means it's going to be great for drifting. See, so yeah, obviously, it's definitely faster. I won't be able to test its top top speed, but we're gonna go over here and test its drifting capabilities real quick. That is the whole point of this video, ain't it? Drift build! Alright, let's see how it is. Yes, 
because it's very drift worthy and even in fourth gear it cranks it so i think fourth gear is the gear to be in for this car when you are trying to go for those drifts oh yeah so yeah, if you guys want to have this tune uh, just uh click the link in the description if i have that set up I and mean, if that's not set up you can just search my name uh Toxic Magenta on Xbox, and you can add me, and you can get my tunes. Thanks for watching.